Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. This is Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we have another what's sold for you guys today. It is Friday again here in the storage unit. Busy day. Boys are just out there playing their iPads, but there is quite a few people here right now. So. <laughs> I'm hoping no one like walks past while we're yeah. talking. It's always yeah. weird. Yeah, I would not be uh, surprised, but we do have a bunch of stuff to show you guys that has sold for us over the last two days, correct? Yeah. yeah. So Kathy's going to go ahead and take that away. Well, I don't want to forget the one that came in on the way over. So can you grab AA? AA. A pair of Adidas black. Uh, Those ones in the very back. These here? All right, that's my help for the day. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so these are some Adidas Ultra Boost I bought at a Goodwill for $10.99. Sold for $35 plus ship. That was an offer I sent to a watcher. I think I recently um, relisted those at a lower price and then sent an additional offer. So. Sweet. Put up on my phone. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this one, I... These were a fast in, yeah, sale. Yeah, sold within a day, so we never brought them here and put them away or anything. But yeah, these Spider-Man toy sunglasses I don't even know what they are really <laughs> they're cool I like bought these at the bins thinking oh the kids can play with them or whatever yeah but then when I I looked them up just for funsies and there was only like two listed in like the $40 range mm -hmm. they had like best offer on though and there was no sold so I was like eh Probably Throw them up. It, but yeah. yeah, let me just put them a little lower than the other people's. I think I did twenty nine ninety five plus shipping, and they sold the first day of being listed for twenty six thirty six because we have a slight sale running. So okay, yeah, a bin item. Bucks. This probably costs next to nothing. Yeah, and twenty six dollars. So I can't remember how much did you spend on that whole haul. The whole haul is like a hundred eight or something. So like almost a quarter of. <laughs> Hey, at least like yeah, 20% that was a of, of items, but the yeah, that's awesome. Quick, <laughs> quick sale, super light, super cool. I think it's cool. Yeah. All right, so DD. Sold some Crocs clogs. I bought these for $12.99. They sold for my full list price on Posh of $45. Always selling the Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Is there ever a day that, like, we don't sell a pair of Crocs or Skechers? <laughs> well, when you add Skechers in the mix, probably not. I feel like you sell one at least every day, yeah. Skechers or Crocs. Uh, this is another thing from that recent bins haul, a uh, Norwex optic scarf, so cleaning cloth, I guess. Uh, yeah, this sold within a day of being listed for seventeen fifty six plus shipping. So. Nice. So Making those that two money items back quick. together <laughs> were, like, less than a pound. A pound at the bins is $1.69, so, yeah. Very nice. GG. Which way are we gonna go? <laughs> Converse, embroidered shoes. You have a story about these. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story or do <laughs> Yeah, these ones I was at a Goodwill one day. I had a bunch of shoes in my cart, as I usually do at the Goodwill. Yeah. Um, this is the middle of the day. It's not like I go there at opening. Not not that that part even matters, but, <laughs> you know, this is like probably 3 p.m., I would say. My cart, I might have like 10 pairs in there. Anyways, um, nothing happens. Good. I leave the Goodwill, check out with all my shoes. These are one of them. And then I go down like a mile down south to another thrift store. And then as I'm at that thrift store, I hear two ladies chatting about the girl at the Goodwill who had a cart full of shoes, who was clearly a reseller and she really wanted those Converse. The ones herself. with the sunflower. As if, like she even knew if they were her size or anything. But then <laughs> yeah. they were like talking about how resellers were just Resellers are bad. bad. Yeah, so. we're so bad. We're so, so, so bad. Thumbs up the video if you're a bad <laughs> person yes. for being a reseller <laughs> so anyways but not a bad person for talking crap about other <laughs> other store yeah nonetheless anyways so i did pay 10.99 for those at that goodwill they sold for 30 dollars 76 cents plus ship so yeah. i'm glad i got them and she did it <laughs> i'm there are women six i do not think i mean yeah that's not a lot of people are women six so. right the chances that they were even her size. And had she asked me, honestly, like if she was like a real person who wanted a pair of shoes for herself and they looked in my Just cart. check out my eBay like, store. No. <laughs> <laughs> like I have given people things from my cart at the bins, at Goodwills and yeah. things like that. Oh, so for sure. If she would have asked. I yeah. And she tried them on and she wanted them. I would have given yeah, them. Yeah, we're too. not here to fight anybody over <laughs> like product. I'm making maybe like 15, 16 bucks for outfit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It would be really funny if she was the one that bought them. Are they going to Colorado Springs? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, I don't know. 
I don't think so. Please, please, please. No, I Oh, don't. darn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good story. Yeah. All right. This is a Yeti tea from the bin. So $1.69 into $8.76 plus ship. I definitely just relisted and dropped the price significantly on that. I think I priced it 15 to 20 to begin with, and I just wanted to move it. So awesome. making a few bucks and moving it. All right, FB. Some Skechers women's golf shoes. I bought for $7.50, sold for $30 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent. I accept it. Love it. Yeah. All right, GB. I see it right here. A pair of men's Jordans. These ones I did pay up, up a little, $12.99. $12.99 is the price that I'm like, start rolling my eyes a little right. bit. I'm like, do I buy it or do I not? Um, so I bought them. <laughs> they sold for 30 plus ship. I recently dropped the price and then sent an offer. These weren't like a cool pair of Jordans. Right. Just a pretty typical one. So uh, I'm probably not even quite doubling my money. Maybe around $10, $11 profit there. Still look like some nice shoes though. Yeah. Yeah, like when I'm buying shoes, you know, even though those are twelve ninety nine, I'm sure a lot of others were eight ninety nine, seven ninety nine. So I'm just thinking, yeah, they're around ten bucks each into thirties, where I'm happy. And so. it just goes to show that just because something is, you know, typically a good seller, Jordans, right? You think Jordans has a good price? You always got to check your comps if you're not sure because, yeah. you know, if you would have mm -hmm. bought those thinking that they'd go for a hundred or something, right. and then you got home and it's well, thirty bucks. Yeah, I know, like, yeah. I mean, I can kind of gauge my eyeballs. <laughs> Which ones are like the cool ones? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are just some Skechers slip ons. I bought for $10.99, sold for $27.24 plus shipping. Nice. Almost as much as the, the Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The GZ. More Skechers. ones i bought for five sold for 23 plus ship i normally get closer to 30 on these one of them these look like brand new like they still have the sticker on the bottom and stuff but like one of the heel loops was like unstitched oh okay i sold them for a little bit less but still making some profit and they sold pretty quickly okay hh um, little kid adidas indoor soccer cleats I bought for two dollars at a garage sale. Sold for eighteen forty-four plus ship. Those are not our kids. <laughs> 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 All right, E H. That's what we say anyway, though. Those aren't our kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some Bionic. Um, yeah, these ones I just relisted on Posh Mark with Posh or VA, and then within an hour of them being relisted, I got an offer of thirty-five. I think I had them priced at fifty-nine, but. That was kind of like a high price to begin with. So yeah. I was happy with 35. I bought them for 8.99. So. Sweet. Yeah. Again, another thing that sold for more profit than the Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F -O yeah, honestly, like I don't really like selling Jordans, so I usually pass on them. I yeah. don't I think I just thought those looked nice. Mhm. Mm um, all right, Under Armour. I'm trying to think. Like I see some Under Armour shoes here, but these are not the ones I'm looking for. So, I might have Are they the flats in the box. back? No. So either of the wrong box or already sold them. <laughs> so we will have to check that we'll out. Have to go check it. out when we have some internet. <laughs> we can go F double check what's going on with that. Cotton candy crocs. Um, these ones I paid twelve ninety nine for, so rolled my eyes a little, <laughs> but still bought them and sold them for thirty plus shipping. Not, not too bad. Yeah. Um, DZ. DZ, all the way over here at the Discovery Zone. Our kids will never know. <laughs> all right, these are going out to our viewer Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. Uh, paid twelve ninety nine for these. Sold them for thirty two to Christy. She offered, I accepted. Awesome. Christy, thank, thank you. you so thank you so much. Hope you enjoy those shoes. Yeah. Looking in great shape. I right, a hat here. This just relisted and then sold same day I relisted it. I definitely dropped the price. I had this listed super high because I thought it was a cool vintage hat that was going to sell for like 30 bucks at least. It didn't, but it did sell for 20 and I bought it for one. So Man, that is a cool hat. Yeah. I thought it took a while to sell, but yeah, it took me forever to relist it. So 
I need to be better about that. Just staying consistent on my relists. Yeah. All right. This is a viewer sale going out to Bridget, a bundle. So let me grab all the items. FC. Oh, it's behind me. What is it? Um, it's like a beanie. Green, gray. All right, so we got six items. Um, some Clark sandals, some Jeffrey Campbell booties, Old Navy shirt, Reebok shorts, Tommy Bahama swimsuit, and then this beanie. So Wait, he holders beanie, yeah. awesome. So Bridget bundled, offered 154. I was happy to accept. I did make a mistake on this again. So Bridget is the one I that I messed up with her Roxy swimsuit on that last couple videos ago. So. Yeah. Bridget, thank you for giving me <laughs> lots of grace. Giving and us a second yeah. chance and we met. No. <laughs> so she had bundled an item and I accepted the offer. You know, I even was like, in my mind, I was like going through my head. I have this, I have this before I accepted. Like yeah. I have all these items and I told myself I did. And then I accepted the offer. And then I realized one of them I sold back. Like, well, my spreadsheet said I sold it in January. Mm. I just never deleted it from Posh. So I didn't have it. So that's, I... Do not do what I did because, <laughs> like, technically she can open a claim on Poshmark. Yeah. So um, the way I worked it out with her, I was like, you know, I can cancel your order. We can go for a lower price minus that one item. You can pick any. I said anything in my shop, like, 50 bucks or under, and I'll just replace it. Yeah. Um, and she just picked this hat. So the thing that she bundled was a kicky pants, like, nightgown. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I didn't have it anymore, so she replaced it with this. So. Okay. Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> Bridget, thank you so yeah. much for your support and your understanding. Yeah, and you're so super Poshmark's awesome. A little tricky with that with bundles, especially because like on eBay, I could just be like, "Oh, let me refund you that yeah. portion of that." But yeah, on Posh, you have to refund the whole bundle, and that was. I just. <laughs> yeah. <but> I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to be better about delisting all of my items. I'm pretty good about it, but two times within yeah. like two weeks to the same person. Yeah. Which is probably honestly my only mistakes recently, but. They just happen to be both to Bridget. So. Which I feel like I should pop this little teaser in here. If you are a List Perfectly user, they I watched <laughs> a live today. They're coming out with the auto delist feature soon. They didn't have a date yet, but it is coming soon. Stay tuned. I'm going to be putting out some videos for that kind of stuff when it does drop. And if I'll ask them whatever I can put out because there's a lot of beta tests going on. They're doing some stuff already behind the scenes. So stay tuned for that. If you are a List Perfectly user, I'm excited. And you a said it was going to be like all platforms, right? That they you could they could delist from all platforms versus um, just a handful of them. At least that's what I were think. So I that's where I'm not okay. sure. So stay tuned for all okay. the details. They've got. I mean, you can watch their live to see exactly what I saw. I didn't get to watch it. I might go back. and Yeah, watch them. I'm gonna go back and watch it a couple of times. Take a few notes. Maybe <laughs> put a video out on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot to say on Bridget's order, I my total cost of goods on the items was twenty eight eighty eight into one fifty four. So. Awesome. All right, B X. Oh, so I'm over on this side now. All right. <laughs> oh, if you're watching our live last night, I said I sold some thongs. These are them? <laughs> These are them. They were Ben's thongs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought these would sell for honestly like 15 to 20 for the pair, but they finally just sold for $8 plus okay. shipping. So, is that one of those Instagram? I feel like yeah, Shinesty. Shine that's one I of the like ads I, I always see. I bought you a pair of boxes. You didn't like them. Yeah, so. thanks. That's like I all the I, ads I get now. <laughs> I think I wear them to bed now. So, <laughs> they're very comfy, hmm. but um, I don't, I'm not going to, I don't know about the thongs. <laughs> the men's boxers are really comfy. So, yeah. anyways, uh, these were from the bins. They are new. I sold them for $8. So I paid probably next to nothing for them. Nice. All right, BJ. Oh, I got a silk in them this morning. I love getting a big sweater out of here. Uh, the brand is Norse. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Knit. Norse knit, I imagine, if it's Nordic. Probably. From Norway, <laughs> Norse. So yeah, I love these like, yeah, Norwegian type yeah. sweaters. I bought it at a Goodwill for $7.99, sold for $43.96 plus shipping. It did take a while. It also doesn't have a size, so I had to go by measurement. So those ones do usually take a bit longer. Yeah. Okay, box of D. Uh oh, <laughs> you almost tripped you with that. I like pushing. Oh, you it all pushed the way it through. there. I'm um, good thing I'm light on my feet. <laughs> 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 all right, this is a viewer sale going out to Sharon. Thank you so much. I don't know how you say this brand either. Zinana. 
I don't know. We'll go with Z Nana. Yeah, <laughs> these are also from the bins. I actually only grabbed them because I was going to try them on and see if I liked them for myself. I did try them on. I did not like them for myself. So I listed them um, and Sharon bought them for $6.88 plus shipping. I probably have less than $2 into them from the bins. All right, Sharon, thank you so much for that support. Hopefully you like them for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AY. Uh, right here. I just wanted to do a little spin. Yeah. Spin, spin. <laughs> Down the catwalk. More Crocs. How many Crocs have we sold? Well, at least three. 500. Oh, yeah, today. Total. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, 12 dollars cost of goods into $35.16 plus shipping. So Nice. Even paying up at $12.99, I'm usually they look new though, right? Yeah. my money. Paid up a little bit. Somewhere. Okay. I, I'm just keep saying like $12.99 has been my cost of goods for like so many of these today. <laughs> yeah. I like to be at nine ninety nine or less, but yeah, I don't make the prices. I mean, we live in a time where inflation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've always lived in a time it's where a inflation thing. is a thing, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's more noticeable lately. So yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, these are some Keens. I bought for ten ninety nine and accepted a twenty three dollar offer. It's lower than I wanted, but they are youth size. I can usually get about thirty plus ship, but. I took 23 because they had just relisted, which meant they'd been listed at least 60 days on Poshmark. So, all right, making probably six or seven dollars there. All right, BL. So, mm -hmm. I know the, so the person that bought these is also the person that bought the other pair that I was not in that box that it should have been in. Oh, so now I don't know if they're a viewer. I always feel like if someone buys two things, they're a viewer, but. If you are, Michelle, thank you. Although, if I don't have your other shoes, I feel horrible. Yeah. Um, I mean, you feel horrible either way. <laughs> well, yeah, like, I don't, you know, would the person even want them if I don't have both? Right. But they bought them separately, so, like, at least I don't have to cancel the whole order because it's posh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping I just wrote the box location wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we'll know in a minute. Yeah, because I'm like, I feel like when I accepted the offer, I delisted it because I was out and about. And I, usually if I don't see it on another platform, I'm like, uh-oh, I must have sold it and forgot. But yeah. I'm pretty sure it was there on other platforms. So, Anyways, these Under Armour shoes, I did pay too much for as $16.99, but they basically looked like new. So okay. I thought I could sell around $40, and I did sell for $40. So cool. on Posh, though, I make $32, so not a huge profit, but All right. enough for me. So we're going to go right. check <laughs> yeah. in the Internet, and that's another one of those oh. things. Uh oh. Well, Did you have a revelation? Wasn't I looking here? This says F L. <laughs> I was looking at E L. Yeah. So that could be it. <laughs> that could be it. So F L right here. Let's see. Okay. Huh. All right. <laughs> yeah. Your penmanship. Yeah, I, or just my looking or, at my penmanship, I guess. We have not had lunch my yet, and it is two o'clock, <laughs> so it, we're, we're, we have the hunger vision blur. <laughs> so basically, the same shoes in a different color, um, also forty dollars. They set an offer. These ones I only paid ten ninety nine for. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, Yay. crisis easily yeah. averted. You guys don't see how stressed I really am when I think I lost something, <laughs> but it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Which, again, I, I can still say what I was about to say, but that's one of those things that will kind of become non-existent when Posh, uh, when List Perfectly has the whole auto delist list yeah. thing. And they're coming out with a lot of quality of life updates. Um, I think, like, well, no longer are there going to be tabs opening up when we cross list and stuff like that. So it's, it's really updating with the times, and I'm excited. So hopefully you guys are excited, too. <laughs> I think that's it for what sold for us. Quite a bit of stuff. Thank you so much to all of our viewers. We do appreciate you so much. I think that's going to do it for today. We're going to get the stuff home, get it packed up, shipped off, have some lunch. We have a date night tonight. Yay. Going to go see a movie. Yay. And the kids, <laughs> we're trying out a new parents' night out place for them. So scared. Yeah, we're a little nervous. We'll takes see. takes me a while to get used to these things. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much again. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.